Okay, this tutorial is for Scott. Scott had a question about half toning a photograph to be used in Illustrator. And here I've got a picture of my Bronco in Dana Point. And what I did was I just kind of whited out the background to clean up the image, um, just so you don't see the trees here. And I'll go ahead and flatten that. And this image is, let's go image, image size. It's straight out of the iPhone, so it's 56 inches by 42 inches at 72 pixels per inch. Now, if you kind of go with the standard 300 pix pixels per inch resolution, you'll see that the width is now 13.44 inches, which is pretty good for a t-shirt. You know, you really don't want to go too big with a t-shirt graphic. So usually 12, 13 inches across is pretty good. But when I'm making bitmaps, I actually usually do a really high resolution. And as long as you're half toning it and your half tone dots aren't too small, then a super high resolution is fine and it's actually preferred because you get smoother edges. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a thousand pixels per inch and make the width Oh, we got to click on resample and make the width around 12 inches. So 12 by nine at a thousand pixels per inch. And let's zoom back out. And what we want to do now is let's go image mode grayscale. And that turns it to kind of a black and white grayscale image. And I just hit um, levels, image adjustment levels, I believe. And, you know, you can just kind of play around with these sliders to kind of pop the image how you want it. And now I'm going to go to image mode bitmap. And for a method, let's choose halftone screen. And click OK. And... Here is here's the thing with the size of the dot. So the frequency, that's 53 lines per inch and angle 45. You can do kind of whatever angle you want. Um, I'm going to do an ellipse shape for the half tones. And let's see what 53 lines per inch looks like. So that's really fine. So I'm going to undo that. And let's go to image mode bitmap again. And the thing with half toning a photograph is if you don't want to see the half tones, you're gonna want you're gonna want to make those half tone dots as small as possible. Um, and what you're gonna have to do is figure out okay, what kind of ink am I printing with, and what is the resolution of the screen printing mesh. And that actually gets complicated. You can look that up if you want, but long story short, I usually want my half tones to be decorative so you actually see them. So you wanna go with like a lower line screen or lines per inch. So let's try 30. And one more thing I'm gonna do, let me just crop down this image just a little bit with the crop tool. And let's save this file. Save it to the desktop, call it Bronco uh, Bitmap. So you could save it as a PSD or a TIFF or I think even a PNG, but I'll, I'll just save it as a, a Bitmap PSD file. And I'll click Save. Now we go into Illustrator and let's just place that image right into Illustrator. And here it is. So the cool thing about bitmap images in Illustrator is you can assign them a color. So let's say I wanted this to look orange or yellow or blue or whatever. So it's kind of like a vector image, but it's not, it's bitmap. The nice thing about these is when you output separations, 
um, the art will show up in your separations. So it's it's like a vector graphic in that sense, but there's no vector points, there's no dots and, and lines to make this. It's just, it's an image. Um, now, let's say you're doing the graphic on a dark background, like a black shirt. So I'll put a black shirt. And what we've got here is kind of like the x-ray effect. And that's like if you see an image of somebody's face or something lit, it looks all of a sudden like it's x-ray or it's, it's uplit. And what we can do with this is let's turn it back to black for a second. And let's go edit, edit colors, invert colors. Now, you see how we have the, the x-ray image. So what we can do is we can assign this a light color and let's change it to like an orange. Actually, let's do kind of like a, like a cream color. And let's bring that black background behind it. So now it looks correct. And the other thing you could do is say, you know, right, Bronco with some type. Kind of been liking this goblin font lately. So there you go. That's how to make halftone bitmaps and bring them into Illustrator.